man, this is a hot button topic right here. But I got to call it like I see it, right? I have to exercise my First Amendment right, and I have to call it like I see it. And as soon as I heard about this shooting in Tennessee at the Christian school, I knew right away it was a hate crime. Right away, I knew it was a hate crime especially when they started talking about the shooter. Now, I'm going to give you guys some information in this video, and this is for informational purposes only, okay? I just want you guys to understand what we're up against, okay? We're not up against just some, you know, mixed-up kids who want to be this and want to be that, and it's all kind of innocent. You know, what we're into, like, last year, this year, the year before, is weaponizing. We're weaponizing everything in your life. Okay, and, and hopefully you don't like it, <laughs> but that's what they're doing. They're weaponizing everything in your life. They weaponize the flu. They weaponize the food. They're weaponizing the water. There was another oh, uh, train derailment in, Ohio, or not a train derailment, but there was another massive chemical spill in Ohio down the river, which I'll have a video on tomorrow. So stay tuned for that one. So they're, you know, they're weaponizing everything right now. And now they've weaponized the LGBT community. Uh, you know, they get them all jazzed up. And I'm going to give you some proof, okay? I'm going to give you some proof uh, about this militant mindset that they're programming into these kids and why I believe that we're going to have a lot more of these incidents. And I also believe that we should take our security into our own hands. If you're running a school, a Christian school, or if you're running a food processing place, hire some security, okay? <laughs> Don't wait for somebody to come and save you. Hire some security. Be proactive, right? We have to protect our food processing plants. We have to protect our kids. <laughs> and we have to protect our resources like water and food. And we're not doing that. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm not going to get into all these super duper particulars, but apparently uh, there was a girl who wanted to become a boy. Her parents weren't down with that. Apparently they're hard Christians because that's what's leaking out into the, uh, you know, webosphere, what I've seen already on the case. And, uh, you know, so apparently that gives justification to randomly go to a Christian school and kill random people. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So what I only want to do is just talk about the mindset that is developing in the LBGT community. It's not all of them, but there is a large portion of them and they're being programmed. Okay. They're, you know, being programmed, I'm telling you to come after you, all right, to spill their blood as martyrs, uh, to come after you. Okay. Christian, right? Because you do not agree with their lifestyle. Now, let's see here. We're going to talk about some stuff right now. I got to give you some, man, we're going to have to learn all this new vocabulary and everything, right? So you have to know what a TERF is, a T-E-R-F, a trans-exclusionary radical feminist, okay? They're cis women, which, a well, cis women, <laughs> I'm 56 years old, I can't believe this. And if you, shame on you, okay, if you're a grown-up. And you have a position where you're around these kids. Shame on you for going along with this nonsense. Shame on you. Okay? Nevertheless, a cis woman, okay, um, I don't know the particular, you know, da, 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 but a cis woman is a, a woman who was born a woman, right? A naturally born woman. Not a man who wants to become a woman. That's not what a cis woman is. A cis woman is just a woman who was born a woman and claims to be a woman and is a feminist maybe 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 <laughs> but the trans exclusionary radical feminists right the turfs they cannot stand cis women okay can't stand them right and there's there's you know there's, 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 i'm just telling you guys this is a problem from the research that i've done all right Turfs are willing to argue against the Equal Rights Amendment, against the laws that would protect all women from being forced to dress and act a certain way by their bosses and deny trans people the right to exist in society. All trans folks raise their voices to fight for their dignity and their rights. Turfs have learned to push back in subtle yet effective ways that appear progressive at the surface but cut deeply into the trans women's self and safety. Okay? So these are the turfs, okay? Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you guys this right here. Turf is a slur. There's a website. You guys can go check that out yourself. Turf is a slur. It's 
It's a website. And on this website are all of the LGB community, right? Talking about messing up cis women. Baseball bats, misogynistic stuff. You know what I'm saying? All, I mean, it just goes on and on. I'm, I'm showing you now, and then I'll continue to scroll while you're watching. And I, my finger just keeps going and going and going. But while I'm doing that, I'll read to you one of the excerpts. Denying non-binary identities makes you a turf. Turfs get the bullet. Denying non-binary identities makes you a turf. Turf gets the bullet. Denying non-binary identities makes you a turf. Turf gets the bullet. Okay? That's one. Here's another one. I want to effing beat the shit out of every Ottenham turf that exists with a baseball bat. <laughs> right? With a baseball bat. Cue the picture of the baseball bat. So this is what we're dealing with. So right before your eyes, they're radicalizing these young kids and people of, I'm going to say it, low mental stability. <laughs> and so what they're doing now is they're training them up to target Christians. And I said it. That's my personal opinion, and I can say it all I want. Now, cisgender is a term that is used to describe people whose gender identity matches the sex they were assigned with at birth. <laughs> It's like a clown world. For example, someone who is assigned a female birth, AFAB, and identifies as a woman is a cisgender woman. Okay? So I'm letting you know, right, that there is a movement in the LGBT community, the trans community, you know, that are radicalized, okay, and they're out to do you harm. And I've, I've just shown you over and over, all these are all these are just posts saying they're going to rip your eyes out, they're going to steal your stuff, they're going to you know, heart your kids, you know what I'm saying? They're going to beat you with baseball bats, they're going to really put it to you. All this hate is right here, and they're running around right now on the news saying, well, we're still wondering what today's motives were. <laughs> well, just come to Doug's channel, he'll tell you what the motives were. Simple motives were... Christians are not down with this LGBT. Most people really aren't, to be honest with you. But people like to, you know, go along to get along. And that's what's going to cause the big problem as they use these useful idiots on us. And, uh, you know, it's just not going to end uh, good for anybody. It's not going to end good for the kid. Now, I will say this, too. Now, this 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 kid, right, actually made a, a, t a post and basically told everyone, this is it, right? This is my last post. I'm going to die because what I'm about to do, you know, I, I, I won't be back from it, right? So they're, they're literally creating martyrs. And now they went into the Christian school and they shot up Christians. And now, you know, privately, right, a lot of them, you know, are, you know, celebrating, right? They're celebrating that. And they're also trying to make it out as a victim right like oh my gosh the cops shot it it wasn't even resisting arrest uh, you know so fast and all this stuff trying to make it a you know a martyr and a victim okay I had some reservations about making this video but I, I if, if, if you know some of us are kind of older right like I'm in my 50s <laughs> and these words like I never even heard of a cis woman right or a turf okay so if we don't know these terminologies and we don't understand how these groups are operating we're going to keep finding ourselves in the trick bag so this video was just about information i just want to bring awareness to y'all just like i did with the tractor supply story okay all i want to do is let you know this is what's going on okay this is not some kind of one-off you know random thing i will i would look honestly uh, for this to ramp up, not to go down. So if you guys are, uh, uh, you know, parishioners at a church, okay? If you are in any involvement at your church, arm the parishioners. Arm the people in the church. If you have a school, arm the people at the school. Don't care. I'm not caring about nobody's stupid sign, okay? Because this is about to get real. I mean, this is we're going all in 
Okay, we're going all in on this transformation of America. All in, all aspects, cultural, financial, everything, right? Everything has been disrupted. Everything, everything. And this is how they do it. I want to share one more uh, picture with you guys real quick before we get out of here today. Because you just can't make this stuff up. And I just wanted to give you some more information and a little more weight um, you know to what I'm saying and to give you a little more proof that this is what's going on uh, the Colorado spring Colorado spring shooter identifies as non-binary the next one was the Denver shooter identified as trans right uh, what do we got here uh, Aberdeen shooter identified as trans and the Nashville shooter identified as trans as a grown man with a functioning brain <laughs> and I'm just calling them like I see them I got no no dog in the fight you know what I mean but I am letting you know that you guys should best be on your on your toes okay on your toes on your toes on your toes everywhere right now head on a swivel you know, stay alert. You know, when you're at the gas station, make sure you guys are keeping your eye on stuff. Don't be not paying attention at the gas station. <laughs> it's called a transitional space. Be careful in your transitional spaces. Okay. I mean, we, it might get it might get really crazy out here. Okay. If you have kids, please protect your kids. So the big question of the day is, and you can leave this down in the comments section: Why are you sending your kids to school? Why are you sending your kids to school? Seriously, that's a hard question, right? Because you guys, I, you guys are gonna leave all kinds of answers down in the comments section, and you're gonna give me all the excuses why you know two people gotta go to work, and why nobody can be at home with the kids, and why the mom is not in the house raising the kids while the dad's out there killing it and dragging it home. You're gonna give me all those excuses. Why are you sending your kids to school? I put that question on my Twitter account the other day and people really liked it. They're not learning nothing. They're being indoctrinated. And now they're even being killed. And for all you people out there, if you're watching this video by chance and you want to try to take our guns away, it's not the guns. It has nothing to do with the guns, man. The guns are inanimate objects. Quit trying to blame the guns. And that's another problem we have is no accountability. Uncle Doug is putting it on you, right? No accountability, right? For three years, they told you to sit down and shut up and wear a mask and take a jab, and you did absolutely nothing about it. And they are laughing their butts off. Now they know they got you. 50% of Americans actually took the jab just because the TV told them so. Right? Now they're sending out the crazies to do the dirty work. They're ginning up the racial stuff. They act like China and Russia are the boogeymen, and they're bad for you, right? All they're doing is creating the bad guys, you know, just like they're doing what they're doing with us, in case you want to know the psyops of it all, is they're showing everybody around the world that we're transvestite, weirdos, cross-dressers, you know what I'm saying? And all that does is, uh, let's say you're a Muslim, I explained this to you before, if you're a Muslim in Saudi Arabia and you see this nonsense going on, what do you want to do? You want to wipe out the infidel, right? Because you actually see this as a problem. Man, this is the great setup. Leave a comment down below if you knew what a cis female was or a cis woman or if you knew what a turf was, right? And all these LGBT, QRST, I mean, it's just getting ridiculous, okay? Leave a comment down below if you knew any of this stuff, right? Share this video so people understand what's coming and what is here right now. All right? If you're not subscribed to our channel, subscribe to our channel. We live in that log cabin that we built ourselves. We grow 90% of our own food. We live 100% off rainwater. And uh, we also poop in buckets. We are the ungovernable. And we share all this information on how you can break away from the system. Only use it when you want to. Free here on social media. So subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video where I'm going to be talking about the railroad again.